Hello everybody, and welcome back to Aldenstein. And today, what we're gonna do is change up our equipment. I want another tractor. And while I do like this, we are replacing it with basically the same thing, except for one difference. I can attach a uh, corn header to the front. So it's the it's the same kind of combine. It's a couple of years no uh, newer. It's the same brand, and the um. Capacities a little bit more, but it also requires a uh, new header and everything. Sorry, I was looking at my pedals. Something's not right here, or maybe it is. I don't know. It's like uh, it's, it's like uh, my. Uh, Gas pedal's a little bit stuck. Can I attach this? In the right area. Uh, okay. Well, we'll get it with the Toyota. So, yeah, that's, uh... What we're going to be doing today, our uh, ground's wet anyway, so we can't really work any of the fields. We'll get everything squared away, and like I said, we are buying a new tractor, but it is from the 90s. It's still below 200 horsepower. No, no, I said I would keep smaller tractors. It's, it's bigger in size. Um drive it does have a front PTO but it's not huge by any means I mean it's I think uh, we can get an option to 190 horse if we need that so yeah and we also are going to be getting a uh, New plow. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, we will repair and then we will sell. That's a lot more money than what I thought. Uh, yeah, we'll take the Toyota. Now, I'm serious when I say that we aren't really gaining much switching these I'm bouncing around. Oh my god, I just cracked. Like, my pedals are super sensitive right now. I'm not, like, running the gamut here. Um, it is a little bit higher horsepower, but like I say, we don't gain that much from it. The Toyota is starting to get annoying. I have all this room to turn, but it won't turn. Uh, it made a mistake going up in here with this. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, yesterday's video is uh, looking pretty good. I spent a lot more time on it. it took three hours to encode. I've done double pass on it at 4K. It's not 60 FPS, but it's 30 FPS at 4K. So, it should look pretty damn good or that's the plan we don't need to get rid of the header trailer just the header so I'm hoping it's gonna pick it up if not uh, we will get it somehow or another I don't know how I feel about the Toyota on this map either it's like we've stuck something in here that doesn't belong. So we may be looking for another pickup as well. And I'm from the United States, so I have to have a pickup. I mean, it's like a common thing. So 
I know it doesn't really work. I think everybody uses um I we'll have to bring the Valmet over. I think everybody uses uh like SUVs and everything. Ah, please lower this. Whoa, 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 whoa. And what is going on? So many attachments. Oh. <laughs> what have I done? This poor little thing. It's always causing me a little bit of issues. If I didn't like it so much, it's not it though. It's like mod conflicts and everything. So, not even upset. I do like it though. Here we go. Um. Yeah, so hopefully everybody likes what I'm picking. I'm trying to stick with our theme of older, smaller equipment. And the hard cap for tractors is 200 horse. So again, it's not something that um, that we're going to try to break. Uh, the subsoiler, though, I don't know much about them. I don't know if they're newer or older, though that is something that we will have to take a gander about um, because the mod doesn't list what years they are and I don't know when they started making subsoils so it's, it's a plow and a cultivator all in one that way uh, it's not like a uh, a plow like the one that we have we might even keep that one that we have but it um, yeah you plow and it cultivates and everything at the same time may not work. Hey! Now we're stuck in the trailer. Okay. I forgot to start the first. We need this kind of here and kind of not. See how that doesn't jackknife? Like, I, I need things that work with me. So, yeah. I, I don't know what we're going to do with the Toyota yet. Like I said, we're, we're going for an older theme. It's just got that feeling around it on this map. But, I don't know... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out when it comes to it. If I decide to replace it, I'll replace it. But I really like it. Sometimes. Not a pain in my ass. Okay. Let us sell this. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. Okay. So, now we need to go to the buy one. Okay, this is the one that we had before, uh, the E512 with the chopper. We're going for the E516, okay. Uh, our power does go up and our storage goes up. But it's still smaller than the Sammy, or the Sampo, whatever you want to call it. So I'm okay with it. It's longer, but it's smaller. That makes sense. It's a little bit shorter and everything else. It is technically the smaller one. So, um, yes, we will take this here. What any of these mean? Go with standard. I don't know what these are. 
brown, blue. We'll go with the blue. So yes, we will buy this. And it takes this header, but it also comes with another couple of headers. So it takes the uh, E536, um, this one here, the Clado, this other Clado, and this is going to be our corn one, so we'll get it whenever we're ready. And we gain a meter width, but it's nothing, nothing huge. Standard, don't, I really wish I could read this, but can't, so I won't. <laughs> And that leaves us with $42,000. Like I say, it's not that much bigger. The motor and the design of it is, like, a lot nicer. And, of course, all these can be found on the mod hub. Uh, these are in the beta section right now instead of the harvester section. So yeah, I'll get these back over to the farm, and then we will worry about getting our tractor, because we're not getting rid of a tractor. I'm just going to buy one, that way we'll have three. A big one to do, like plow work and anything that needs to be heavy lifted, or, you know, heavy moved. This is off center. Didn't know that. I think this header trailer will still work. We get a square. But yeah, I'll meet you guys back over the farm. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sell the Toyota. I don't use it. And yes, we will repair. Yes, and sell. But that is the Toyota gun. We will replace it next episode with something. So, now on to our cultivator. And it's going to be the Meyer SZ4000. As you can see, cultivator, I prefer fields for the next sewing and the deep one adds the buying bonus so we're gonna go ahead and get that that's 19,000 uh, maybe we will hold on let me uh, let me buy the tractor first where is it past it right here it is the Deutz far see 94 we are older it's uh getting pretty old there and 85, I'm freaking $60 short. Hmm. We don't need any extras. Let's, um, I don't have a loan. So we will take one for $20,000. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right. The tractor again, Toys Far. Um, oh, it's 90 grand. Oh, I forgot the <laughs> power upgrade. The 96. Yeah, I think we want the extra 25 horsepower, I think. Uh, no. Let's get it like this. 
If it's not enough, it's not enough. I know what the subsoil it takes. This will live us with 900 bucks. Okay. And when we get to time, we'll come down here. And I did put in some trailers, so we've got these. Uh, they're smaller. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. It said they were only like 4,000 liter. Never mind, we won't be getting those. No, it doesn't have any options. What's this one? EK900. The little one. This one. Big is it? 5,000 liter. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Only a little bit bigger than our... Uh, this one here. So we might go with that. I don't know yet. And that one can be 15,000 liters. So, yeah. We will worry about that later. Oh, here it is. I think it's a very nice looking tractor. And again, it is on the mod hub. And it kind of fits our theme. It looks a lot like our Massey. It's just bigger. But it's not huge by any means. I mean... been massive tractor. But I'm not I'm not going that route. We, it, I mean, let's, let's face it. How many times have we had the front end in the air? Very, very light on our Massey. We are going to start tackling some of the bigger fields. Not, not huge fields. I mean, none of the fields on this map are huge. But some of the bigger ones. And we can use our front weight now. We're also going to look at getting a uh, different fertilizer. Use the uh, one there yesterday. And it's just too big. Fold it up. Hear me? It does fold. Oh. No, this one doesn't fold. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and put this right to work today. And we don't need any more grass fields, but you see that uh, little field there below eight? We're going to combine those together. Um, again, it's not going to be a huge field, but it is something for us to have. Hopefully that's coming. Being slow. Yeah, it's not going to be a big field by any means, but it will be a very, very nice addition. Okay, so I'm going to do this, and then we'll combine them together, and I'll do all that in a uh, time lapse, so I'll speak to you guys here in just a minute, okay?
so that finishes off uh, field eight. Now, hoping this does what I want it to do. I should be able to hit Y here. Down. And it's not working. Oh! Even though it has the option, we're going to have to plow these fields together with an actual plow. Okay. That's fine. We will do that at a later date because it's raining like crazy. But it's good for the crops, so I'm not even mad. Work our new good looking tractor. We need to get a screenshot of because it is very, very pretty. And uh, we're going to park him right here under the shed. Okay. So, now we need to check on our aminals. And they are getting low on grass, dodge, and hay. So yeah, let's um, take care of them. I don't think they're going to be too awful. Maybe I lied. Looks like they've made a mess. Again. There's not that much here. How do 10 cows make such a mess? I think it's 10 cows. I'm falling. they've done it again. Oh well. This will hopefully, yes it does, it kept them fairly cleaned out and this extra 200 liters of fuel go nicely. Go. Yeah, they brought up their grass pretty good. We're going to need some straw. Might have to put in a straw buying lot or something. Because that's going to be bad for our bullets here. So we'll get some A out of here to give them. We're just going to go ahead and fill this all the way up. I 
don't believe that they'll take all of this. Out there, Mrs. Cow, Mr. Cow. Maybe I lied. Wow. Yeah, they took all of that. Oh, it's still not full. But they are desperately needing some hay. Uh, our sheep are gonna need water. We're well, I found on water here. So let's drop our little cart. Get it back in its home. And we'll grab the water trailer and head up to the sheep farm. Now, if somebody knows of a smaller water trailer, I'd like to hear about it. Uh, this one's... I mean, it's alright, but it's, to me it's too big. For our... Uh, for our map. Where am I going? Roads over here, dum-dum. Like, we don't have enough animals to really justify needing 7,000 liters of water or so. Yeah, if somebody knows of a smaller map, please let me know. Well, it finally stopped raining. Or not a map, a smaller mod, a smaller water tanker mod. Oh my gosh. What am I saying here, people? Oh, I missed the water fill point. I'm used to them being right beside each other, and it's on the other side of the barn. Okay, let's leave this here for a second, and now we will clean up. It's an on and off kind of raining day. Uh, yeah, well, let's clean up after our sheep here. I think my sheep are broke. <laughs> Guys. I have to go into Giants and fix that. Not a big deal to fix if it is. I'm honestly thinking it is the trigger. Like it's got a, a collision. Something. I, I don't know. There's something there I'm getting stuck on. You guys don't want food. Fine. Um. Yeah, we're gonna bring down a. Uh, I don't know if we should keep the trailer either. But yeah, we'll bring down a bucket of grass for the cows as well. We'll also check on our uh, silage today. Now our crops in field two, they should be sprouting in the next couple of days. Put canola there. We'll, ch we'll check everything out here in just a minute. Oh, oh, come on. Be gentle with me. Full is our slurry tank. 0% full, but 5,000 liters, that's not bad.
Alright. So, what do we need to check on today? Well, we're going to go ahead and park our Valmet in its new home. So, animals are taken care of. The best we can do until we get some straw. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out about getting some straw. I don't know where we're going to, though. Uh, I might have to buy some, is what I'm fearing the most. I want to keep their production health up as much as I can. The health on these guys is kind of low, and that's kind of scary. Um, they're going to need some power food before too long, too. We've only worked 0.3 hectares. Uh, the total. No, the session, okay. Wow. There are some small fields. But we've driven 41 kilometers? I guess what that is. Um, I'm taking the Massey anywhere today. Might as well just use it to drive around. Hey, okay, we'll go check our silage pit real quick. Now, where's the manure? Oh, there it is. It's a... Uh... Go take a gander. Oh, it doesn't say. I thought it might say. Watch for that plan. I'm really hoping our silage is done. 72%. It should be done late tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to start planting the wheat yield 18. Take care of that. That won't take very long. Our cow should give us enough money to sustain. I don't think we're doing too bad, really. If this is... No. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's very state. It's, uh... I didn't miss that much. I didn't miss that much. Whatever. Uh, growth state first. Not even germinated yet. Um, what did we put there? Canola? Wow. They won't come in for a while. We're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to get uh, wheat down. It's going to be a while though. Yeah, we're going to have to buy some straw. Which kind of sucks. Could be worse. A lot better, too. But we'll go ahead and put this up. It's 5 o'clock in the o'clock almost. Got a full day's work in us. I think we've done alright for today's episode. Um, if anybody has any comments on what I've picked and what decisions I've made, please let me know if you have a problem with it. Here, if not, I would also love to hear. Park this up, and we're gonna call it early for today. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a good weekend, as this video should come out on Friday this week. So Sussex Farms on Saturday and stay, and that should off that series.
So yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Have a good evening, and hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.